Hi, this is Rich again. I want to show you guys my latest project. And it's a solar panel system that I want to use for a backup for when we lose our power, which happens like two or three times a year here. And that way we can run the um, computer modem, the wireless for the laptop, and watch TV. And the first thing I did is I got me a couple panels. All right, these are my solar panels. They're um, two 30-watt panels, and I bought them on eBay. And I, I have a wide frame on them, so I took the existing screws, and just put a little piece of strap wire to, to mount them together. That works good. And then on the back, I strapped a piece of um, one quarter inch plastic uh, tubing that's to help me fit on my mount. All right, here it is in my mount, and um, I just made this out of a PVC. I concreted into the ground. I just sort of made a T, and you see it it fits right in between uh, the two corners. And what I did is just um, I just slid a slid a pipe through to hold it, and that way the whole thing can turn turns easily all the way if I need to work on it and uh, the actual unit can turn if I push it and uh, another thing I did is uh, come up with a, a way to adjust it and right there I just used an old caulking gun turned it sideways so that way I can just uh, click it up there and it adjusts and that's about it on that, it's pretty simple and it's already wired up and I have them in parallel so all I did is take you got a positive and a negative you just go positive over to the next one positive negative to negative and then it goes down and I did it under the ground and it goes up under my deck there and goes up into the splice point and that's where I have my battery too Okay, here's my um, box I made for my uh, splices. And um, you open it up in here, you can see it. It's uh, pretty simple. Everything just um, parallels. So I got my um, two wires in the bottom here are coming up from my battery. Then I got two right here, and they're going up to the inverter. And then I made a jumper across to these little terminals here, which I got out of a old AC panel. I just took the terminal blocks out and used them to make my splice. But everything's parallel, so it's red to red, black to black. And also I popped a little meter in here, analog meter. I got a yard sale for 50 cents. And um, that's about it. It's pretty simple. It's going up to here, and then it goes up to my inverter, and... 15 uh, 100 watt inverter. I got that at a yard sale too for $3. That was that was a good deal. And uh, what I did is this cord is um, I already pre-wired it and it's going um, to the bedroom where the the modem and stuff is. Okay, this is in the bedroom. What I did, I just took my wire around the side and I just come through the wall and I wired in a special outlet just for that. So that we can plug right there is the um, the modem and the, the wireless. So when we lose our power, I just have to turn on the inverter and then unplug them and plug them into the my green plug. And that's how that'll work. And then we can just run extension cord to plug the TV if I want. So that turned out okay. Okay, the last uh, piece of the system is um, is my controller, and this is it right here. You can see it. It's um, from a company in Texas called Coleman Air, and uh, I bought it on, e on eBay too. And um, it has indicators on it to tell you how full the battery is. And this one also has a dump load, and that's the reason I I bought it actually. And there's a the wiring, but it's it it's pre-wired, and all you do is uh, take your uh, positive and negative right there. I'm using white, so that's the positive. And black, and then it controls it. But um, it has this 
dump load feature, which means once your battery is charged, instead of just cutting off and not uh, charging the, the the battery anymore, it will send a, give the uh, the electricity another route to go. So, and all you do is put a jumper from here to there, and that sends it to a relay behind there. And if it's dumping, it'll come back out on this terminal over here, which is my green wire, which I have down in here, and I have two terminals here to to hook the dump load. So and that's that works pretty good, and it's simple, and then the re has a red light for for dumping, so you know that it is is dumping. And I'm hoping to, since I'm not really going to be using this system once the battery's charged, only for emergencies, um, it should, in theory, it should be dumping most of the time. So I like to put a uh, tie grid inverter in here and actually send that back into the house. You can buy a small one, like a 250 watt one for $300 and something. And also I'd like to add a, uh, a wind turbine. But for now, this is, this is my system. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. Watch my videos. Bye.